why is the narcissist's social media silent? I've explained elsewhere that social media is an absolute boon to our kind with regard to reach, ease of use, the ability to obtain fuel, and in the circumstances, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we will utilise social media to achieve the prime aims, either done in an aware fashion, where lesser or mid-range narcissist, or in an aware fashion, a greater or ultra. We have used Facebook extensively, but there can be an occurrence whereby it appears that our once vibrant social media pages have fallen into disuse. The profile picture never alters, whereas it once changed several times a day to allow the narcissist to show off the latest snapshot of apparent brilliance. The timeline remains mournfully empty. There are no posts about the narcissist's latest achievements or accomplishments. There's no sharing of the latest video that has been uplead, uploaded or the link to YouTube for the same purpose. The only things that can be seen, perhaps, are the annual birthday well wishes from those reminded by the automated feature on a particular platform. There are no replies to these salutations. There are postings from years ago, but everything else appears to be silent. Your friend request may have been accepted, your follow request may have been accepted, but nothing more has happened. And now, the narcissist's social media profile drifts silently through cyberspace like some ghost ship. Why does this happen? Number one, bring out the spyglass. Just because there isn't anything happening on our profile, it doesn't mean there is nothing happening. The narcissist may well be using this profile to spy upon you and others. Should you come back up on the radar for whatever reason, by virtue of a hoover trigger, the narcissist may well utilise social media to gather information prior to a direct hoover. It can be used to keep an eye on what you are doing on your profile page during devaluation, and it is utilised for gathering information prior to seduction. Silent and looming. The narcissist, each time you come up on the radar, uses the profile to watch you, waiting, ready to make the next move. Where greater or ultra, this is a calculated step. Where, lesser or mid-range, this is an instinctive response by the narcissism to gather this information to evaluate whether a more direct approach ought to be made. As you churn out the comments, posts and likes, the narcissist will be intermittently watching, gathering the information to utilise in that moment to pursue the prime aims. And where you are dealing with an aware narcissist, that small smile plays across the narcissist's lips, forked tongue brushing those sharpened teeth as the aware narcissist lies in wait. Number two, triangulation. Of course, I'm on whatever social media profile. You can send me a friend or follow request if you wish, but I don't use it. I haven't in years. I'm too busy, you see. I prefer to do my living in the real world. It's being with people that matters to me. I don't need to herald what I achieve on an electronic platform. I let my actions in real life speak for themselves. This is what matters to me. I prefer to be face-to-face -face with people, seeing them, hearing them speak and watching them. This supposedly earnest speech provided to you is designed instinctively where lesser or mid-range and is usually done by the mid-range narcissist or is a calculated response where greater and is designed to impress you and con you into thinking that there is nothing to be wary about with regards to our social media profile. We are triangulating you with a supposedly dead social media profile in order to cause you to admire us for being so real. Oh, the irony. All of it, of course, is nonsense. It is instinctively or calculatedly made up for the purpose of making us sound good, for asserting control over you in that moment. Apart from the last sentence, that one is true, though, although not for the, most, not for the reasons that most people would expect. 
The personal interaction is required by us because this is where we get the proximate fuel and the largest amounts of fuel. And our narcissism governs our approach to ensure that we look to obtain fuel as often as possible in person. Number three, deterrent. You are far less likely to block us if you believe that we never use our social media pages, which then comes in useful should you come back on the radar post-disengagement for the purposes of our narcissism determining whether a hoover should take place. If we, are unli- if we are unlikely to use the social media profile or even read it, then you are dissuaded from posting anything which might then upset the carefully crafted facade of the mid-ranger or greater. Why bother when nobody reads it? By conning you that this profile is never visited, you will similarly keep away from it. And thus, this enables us to reduce the chances of your interference and those of your supporters. This means fewer people to tackle online, should we assert control over you by smearing. Number four, ever presence. If there was no social media profile, then you obviously couldn't look at it, could you? But by keeping it and not blocking you, you will, driven by your emotional thinking, causing you to interact with us by looking at our social media, means that you will keep returning to it, post-escape and post-disengagement, because you can't help but want to know what we are doing, whether we are saying anything about you, whether you actually matter to us. Of course, you don't, save for the provision of the prime aims. You may not be minded to post anything in accordance with what I mentioned earlier. You do not, of course, want us to know that you are sneaking these lucks, so you don't post anything. But you invariably look, nevertheless. And this is a breach of no contact. Victims always, at some point, go and look at the social media. Driven by flawed logic, in terms of thinking that you need to know what we're doing, or wanting to perhaps see that things are going to shit in the life of the narcissist. Accordingly, you will, driven by this emotional thinking, keep returning to it in the hope of some posting, some development, and some news. By maintaining a profile even though nothing is happening on it, this is a form of ever-presence that keeps you linked to us and enables control to be asserted because you are remaining looking at what we're doing, maintaining a form of contact with us, maintaining that interaction and keeping your emotional thinking high as you keep your obligatory tour of our social media platforms going. As you know well, as part of a no-contact regime, you ought not to be looking. Number five, cover story. The lack of activity on our social media profile allows us to maintain plausible deniability. How on earth can we be engaging and flirting online if we're never on Lime through social media? Look, see, look at my social media profile. Nothing's going on. Here, check the messages. See, nothing there, and there hasn't been for months. That then enables the narcissist to respond by accusing you of being controlling, projecting that behaviour onto you, a mid-ranger doling out a pity play. Why do you treat me this way? Why are you so intrusive? This then enables the narcissist to assert control over you by assuming the moral high ground and provoke you into responding to our jibes about your unpleasant behaviour. Number six, the action is actually elsewhere. You cannot seriously expect the narcissist to lose one of the main weapons in our game playing, can you? Whilst our real profile may be dormant, the real action is taking place using a fake profile, where the narcissist is gathering legions of prospective targets, engaging in flattery, flirtation and fabrication, as the narcissist asserts control over these individuals and sucks fuel from them. This enables the narcissist to, of course, assert control and gain fuel through these tertiary and potentially secondary online targets, and then maybe utilise them for the purposes of promotion and real life, physical physically proximate interaction with them. Don't think that the fact that the narcissist is using a fabricated profile will stand in the way to converting the online seduction to a real-life interaction. The narcissist will have a thousand lies to legitimately explain away why the false profile was used at the beginning, and invariably this intrigue 
driven by emotional thinking, causes the empathic victim to want to know more as to why this false profile was used in the first place. Of course, logic would say, if somebody has courted you with the false profile, why would they do that in the first place? It's not legitimate, there's something creepy going on, and therefore you ought to run a mile. But people don't. They allow themselves to be courted, and even when the reveal is made that it isn't the person that you thought it was, emotional thinking is so high that certain victims let it pass. Number seven, resurrection. At some point, the narcissist will crank the profile back into life, and the proliferation of likes, postings, and comments will begin again. The narcissist operates through contrast, and this difference between dormancy and vibrancy will be used to the narcissist's advantage and to your disadvantage. You can rest assured of that. The narcissist will suddenly engage with people and allow you to see it, but not then engage with you. You're being triangulated, which allows the narcissist to continue the devaluation of you. The narcissist may spring into life and seduce you once again through the profile, proclaiming that you are so special and that we wanted to tell the world all about you and use our social media profile, now free from being cluttered with less worthy individuals, all about it. These are the main reasons why the social media profile remains silent. Of course, it is all part of the manipulation and is another tool utilised by our kind for achieving those prime aims of fuel, control, coverage traits and residual benefits. But, should you have ever wondered why this was the case, you now have the answer. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.